Ibaraki. People will tell you, not a lot happens here. When asked what Ibaraki is famous for, most will say natto, a fermented soybean dish. But ask football fans what comes to mind when they think of Ibaraki, and the answer will be simple. Kashima Antlers. A team that defied the odds to join the J-League and then went on to become the dominant force in Japanese football. But it's not just Kashima Antlers here. Mito Hollyhock have made a name for themselves as a mainstay of J2. Wild is also a vibrant non-league scene. This is Football Destinations Japan, Ibaraki. Where else to start but with Kashima Antlers? And long before they became the pride of Ibaraki, the club played in Osaka. They were founded in Osaka in 1947 as the corporate team of Sumitomo Metals. In 1969, they entered the regional level Kansai Soccer League, but were relegated after just one season. However, they returned in 1973, won the title at the first attempt, and stepped up to the national level Japan Soccer League for the 1974 season. In 1975, the club were moved to Kashima, then a small town in Ibaraki, where Kashima Steelworks had just begun operations. The purpose of moving the club was to give employees of the Kashima Works something to do in their free time. Now located in Ibaraki, the team continued in the Japan Soccer League, winning the second division title twice. However, they only spent three seasons in the top flight and when the JSL came to an end in 1992, they were a second division team, which was something of a problem for the ambitious club. The Japan Soccer League came to an end to be replaced by the J-League, which would be Japan's first professional football league. It was to be a clean break from the corporate team dominated JSL, and Sumitomo Metals were desperate to be a part of it. In 1991, the club pulled off a major coup in convincing Brazilian legend Zico to join them. At the time, Sumitomo were a JSL Division 2 team, with no guarantee of joining the soon to be launched J League. Yet Zico, a player who had scored 48 goals in 71 appearances for Brazil and appeared at three World Cups, was playing in the second tier of non professional football in Japan for this very ambitious team. But despite this, Sumitomo seemed no closer to joining the J League. Their chances of joining the professional ranks were deemed so unlikely that Saburo Kawabuchi, a former Japan national team player and then Japan Soccer League board member, said the probability of Sumitomo Metals joining the J-League is almost 99.9999% impossible. But something happened that turned that 0.0001% chance into reality. A big problem for many teams wanting to join the J-League was finding a suitable stadium most clubs had been playing in multi-purpose grounds with running tracks that lacked the infrastructure and facilities to host professional football. So when the Ibaraki prefectural government decided to support Sumitomo in building a 15,000 seat football specific stadium, the club's chances of joining the J-League were greatly improved. And despite the club playing in the second tier of the JSL and Kashima having a population of fewer than 60,000, Sumitomo Metals were admitted to the J-League as one of the 10 founding members. This most unexpected of J-League teams took the name Kashima Antlers as they entered the professional era of Japanese football. Kashima in Japanese means Deer Island, hence the Antlers part of the name, and the club hit the ground running in the J-League, with Zico scoring a hat-trick in a 5-0 opening day win over Nagoya Grampus. Antlers won the first stage of the 1993 season but ultimately finished runners-up after losing the final to second stage winners Verdi Kawasaki. But they wouldn't have to wait much longer to win their first piece of silverware and for the floodgates to open. Antlers won the J-League title for the first time in 1996 and have added seven more titles since then, including three in a row between 2007 and 2009. With eight league titles, they're the most successful team in the J-League. They've also won five Emperor's Cups, six J-League Cups, six Super Cups, and one Asian Champions League. They also made history in 2016 by becoming the first Asian team to reach the final of the FIFA Club World Cup, taking Spanish giant Real Madrid to extra time, before losing 4-2.
1998, the club's humble 15,000 seat stadium underwent significant redevelopment to prepare it for being a 2002 World Cup host venue. The capacity was increased to more than 40,000, and even today, the stadium is one of the most striking in Japan. Zico has played a huge role in Kashima's success. Since joining Sumitomo Metals in the second tier of the Japan Soccer League, he has both played for and managed Antlers in the J League, and is now the club's technical director. It's no surprise that there's a statue of him outside Kashima Soccer Stadium. From their humble beginnings as a corporate team, through their battle against the odds to join the J-League, and into their unprecedented era of success, there are few stories in world football as dramatic as the journey to the top taken by Kashima Antlers. But it's not all Kashima Antlers when it comes to J-League football in Ibaraki. In the prefectural capital, Mito Hollyhock have been a J-League member since 2000. The club's history goes back to 1994, when they were founded as FC Mito, making their debut in the 4th division of the Ibaraki Prefectural League. But the club were able to take a major step forward when they merged with Padima Hamu FC Tsuchiura in 1997. In 1996, FC Mito were playing in the 2nd division of the Ibaraki Prefectural League, while Padima Ham were in the Kanto Soccer League and held a Japan Football League license. So, in 1997, the two clubs came together under the name Mito Hollyhock and entered the Japan Football League, which at the time was effectively the second tier of Japanese football. The name Hollyhock comes from the Tokugawa family crest and is also seen on the club badge. The Tokugawa family played an important role in ruling Mito during the Edo era. In 1999, the J League launched J2 which became the new second tier of Japanese football. Mito weren't a founding member, but a third place finish in the JFL meant they won promotion to J2 for the 2000 season. And that's where Mito have been ever since. At the time of making this video, Hollyhock have spent 22 consecutive seasons in the second tier. They've recorded best place finishes of seventh on two occasions. But change may be coming. The club's current stadium, Kei's Denki Stadium, isn't suitable for J1 football. So in 2019, the club announced they were exploring options for a new stadium. They expect it to be a football specific ground with a capacity of 15,000 to 20,000. Let's hope one day Mito Hollyhock can get to J1 and that we can see an Ibaraki derby in the top flight. Below the J League, Ibaraki has a vibrant non-league scene. In Kanto Soccer League Division 1, a regional league at the fifth level of Japanese football, there are two Ibaraki teams. The wonderfully named Joyful Honda Tsukuba FC, who are sponsored by hardware store Joyful Honda, are a community club with the aim of giving everyone the chance to enjoy football. The club have junior teams for boys and girls, as well as a senior women's team. Another Ibaraki team in Kanto Soccer League Division 1 are Mutsu Keiza University Dragons Yugasaki. The university has a long history of entering football teams in senior competitions, first appearing in the Ibaraki Prefectural Leagues in 1965. Ryutsu Keizai University Dragons are currently the university's highest placed team and played in the Japan Football League from 2015 to 2019. However, university teams are no longer allowed to play at JFL level. The university also has a team competing in Kanto Soccer League Division 2. The other Ibaraki team playing in Kanto Soccer League Division 2 is Identi Marai, who are based in Tsukuba Medai City. The club began life in Chiba Prefecture in 1988, and back then were solely focused on junior football. A senior team was formed in 1998, and in 2004 they entered the Ibaraki Prefectural Leagues. It wasn't until 2018 that they joined the regional level Kanto Soccer League. So that was Football Destinations Japan, Ibaraki. Let me know your thoughts on the football scene here, and if you support any of the teams from this prefecture. As always, thank you for watching.